With the blessings of my parents, Dhirubhai and Kungila Ben Ambani, and Nita's parents, Ravindra Bhai and Kundima Dala, we are delighted to welcome you today to the pre-wedding celebration of our beloved son, Anant, with his sweetheart, Radhika. And we are joined by Radhika's parents, the beautiful Shaila and Viren Merchant, in extending a warm welcome to each and every one of you, Isha and Anand, Akash and Shloka, and all others in the Ambani, the Merchant, the Dalal, Piramal, and the Mehta families, also join us in okay. saying to you, Suswagata, a hearty welcome to our home in Jamnagar. Okay. Today, my heart is overflowing with joy and gratitude. It is full of joy because so many of you have come from far and near to join our celebrations. My heart is full of gratitude because this shows your love, affinity and good wishes for our families. Words are inadequate to express our gratitude. I can only say thank you from the bottom of my heart. In the Indian tradition, we respectfully describe all our guests as Atithis. Atithi Devo Bhava It means guests are like gods. When I did Namaste to you, it meant that the divine in me is pleased to acknowledge the divine in you. The same God or divine energy, the same Divya Shakti animates everything in this vast and wondrous universe. Because each of you has brought a little bit of that divine energy with you to Jamnagar. You have made this occasion truly auspicious. Aap sab ne is shadi ke mahol ko mangal mai bana diya hai. Dhanyavad, bahut bahut dil se dhanyavad. Friends, today all the gods and goddesses have descended to earth from their heavenly abode to bless our dear Anant and Radhika. In this ancient land, every action of ours has a divine connection, divine participation and a divine meaning. Gods are our constant guardians. In our Hindu tradition, Viva or a wedding is a sacred bond. It binds not just two souls into a lifelong commitment of love, but it also unites their families. The rituals are many, each more vibrant, more colorful and blissful than the other. And every ritual is laced with festivities that integrate the bride and the groom and also their two families into bonds of eternal togetherness. Invocation of the deities, blessings from the elders, offerings to the priests, chanting of the sacred verses, fun and frolic with friends and relatives, the excitement and laughter of youth and the tireless energy of young love. These are the cultural and emotional ingredients of an Indian wedding ceremony. Friends and family, as Anand and Radhika embark on a journey of lifelong partnership, your blessings will yield a perennial harvest of good fortune whose abundance will never diminish. Today, my father, Dhirubhai, is also showering his profuse blessings from high up in the heavens. I am sure he is doubly happy because we are celebrating this joyous day in the life of his favorite grandson, Anand, in Jamnagar. Jamnagar became the Karm Bhumi 
for my father and me a place where we found our mission passion and purpose jamnagar was a totally barren land it was a desert 30 years ago what you see now is the realization of dhirubhai's dream jamnagar became the turning point in the history of reliance it continues to be a place where we launch futuristic businesses and unique philanthropic initiatives our sole aim is to enhance india's prosperity and contribute to the well-being of planet and all its people in all humility i say that jamnagar will give you a glimpse of the rise of a new india that is vibrant optimistic and full of self confidence <laughs> dear friends it is said that seeing is believing no this does not apply to jamnagar you will find it hard to believe even after seeing what jamnagar proudly presents to you please explore jamnagar at your own pace friends let me now say a few words about anand and radhika anand in sanskrit means that which has no end it means infinite and i see infinite potential in anand main anand mein anand shakti dekhta hu 